Hi guys. Happy Friday. I got in an order of um, Nova Color paint. Um, I got quite a few. I got some Cerulean Blue Hue. I got some Payne's Gray. Um, titanium White. Um, actually, I just about nine colors. And then I got to show you this one. This is their Emerald Pearl Essence. Look how pretty that is. I'm not using it today, but oh my goodness. That's going to be one of those colors that I don't want to use because I don't want it to be gone. Really, 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 really pretty. So, anyway, another day for that one. Um, I did a test pour last night because um, the colors I had... Oh, let me just move this. If you haven't joined my Facebook group and you want to, um, Fluid Art Fanatics, you can go ahead and do that. Um, just a little group, so if you're more comfortable with a very small group as opposed to a large group, then you'll want to come join us. I think there's about 66 people there right now. Um, but anyway, I mixed up some colors, and I wasn't sure. I kept thinking it needs a little pop of something, so I did a test pour, and I added a little purple um, after I did a pour with these four, and I just decided I'm going to stick with these colors. Um, these are all Nova Color paints mixed with um, water and a little bit of treadmill, ooh, treadmill belt silicone. Um, this is just my paint, or my paint's gray. This is my titanium white. This is cerulean blue mixed with a little bit of um, titanium white. I wanted a, a bit of more of a contrast between these two colors, so I lightened my cerulean blue hue. Ruby and blue hue. Uh, sounds like a Dr. Seuss book. Um, so anyway, I lightened that up. This teal color is a combination of the cerulean blue hue and phthalo green yellow shade. Um, so I mix those two and it just makes this really pretty rich dark teal color. And I have Payne's Gray. So I have these four. I've got these mixed. I've got these mixed. I have these mixed. I mix them a bit thicker um, than a lot of people do for pouring. It's certainly um, streaming off the stick, but it's not, um, I don't know, it's just a little thicker. These are really, really creamy paints, so um, it's a really creamy consistency. Anyway, it doesn't take much water, which is why I didn't add any Floetrol. It really didn't take much water at all to get these to a nice... Um, pouring consistency, so I didn't feel the need. So in my test pour, I did a flip cup and then used a straw to bring the white back up top because the white was really heavy, um, obviously, so it sunk all the way to the bottom, and I used um, a straw to bring the white back up to the top. It made a really pretty kind of flowery look, so I'm going to do that again. I think I'm going to do two flip cups. Um, one with more of the Payne's Gray and one with more white. So there's like a darker side and a, light, a lighter side. It's kind of my thought process. Um, how it actually turns out, well, that's always an interesting thing, isn't it? So, two cups. I'm afraid this size cup will be a little too small. These are huge. I need an in-between, I guess. So, I mean, I have some other pouring things, or cup things. I guess I could use, where's my, um, well, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time looking for cups, but I have some, like, yogurt cup type things and such. Um, maybe I'll use this for one of them. And, let's see. And a yogurt sure how much no I'm not using the yogurt cup so I'll use this for one and I'll use a tall one for the other one this is just a baby food uh, baby formula travel thing it came with a, a three section um, cup in it that I like to use I've used it a few times okay anyway I'm um, changing the subject so let's get back to so I want white excuse me for scratching my head um, on the bottom of both of these. Maybe I'll do this as my dark side, so I'll do a little less white in that one. 
I did color my hair, so if my head comes in screen while I'm using the straw, um, you won't see roots. So there's that. I'm trying to remember. Now the stupid thing I did last night is I didn't pay any attention to what order I put the paints in the cup. That was silly. I think I did the... I think I did my teal second, then my paint's gray, and then... I think. Doop de doop de do. I don't remember. Okay. I want a good amount of paint on the canvas so that I do get some layering of the colors to use a straw to blow around. Definitely makes it more interesting. Okay, so not quite as much in that one. We'll go kind of heavy on the Payne's Gray in this one. I love Payne's Gray. I love what it does when it mixes with white. Beautiful color. Okay, now Cerulean Blue Hue. Put more of that in this one. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure this is quite enough paint. I should have weighed it. I'm not sure how much this weighs. I think this cup weighs 0.3 ounces. I've done this enough. So, well, that's about four ounces right there. Let's see what this is. It's weighing 5.9. So, figuring this weighs about three or point like half an ounce, we do have enough paint. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. I want to add. Let's add a little bit of this and a little bit of Payne's Gray. And we'll call it good. I have the treadmill belt silicone in all the colors except the white. I did not put it in the white. Okay. Let's put these off to the side. Okay. And then. Flip that one like that. There we go. And this one I have to be coordinated with. Boop. Oh, not terrible. Lost some, but nothing off the canvas. So, you know, that's always the goal. Keep all the paint on the canvas. Okay. Press on the canvas just a little bit so that it goes that way. Let gravity help us out a little bit. I wouldn't do that a lot, but there definitely is a lot of paint there. So let's bring this one this way. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay, so spread it out a little bit. Trying to decide if I let it go off the edge. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause. I'm going to get some cardboard and make a little corner um, catcher. Okay. So let's go this way first. Oh, I love these colors. When I mixed them, I really thought. I was going to need something to add to it. I don't want to lose that much off quite yet. So, um, but it really worked. In fact, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a third flip cut because I'm this is thinning out more than I wanted it to. Where's my cup? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use the. Well, I'll use the. I'll use the. Add that right there. I'm going to use this one just because I think it'll be easier to do. Okay. Whoops. White first. I definitely have enough paint, plenty of paint to cover the canvas, but I, I really want it to be somewhat thick on the canvas. 
because I want colors under the colors. I don't want just like a layer of colors, if that makes sense. If not, tell me in the description bar, or I always say the description bar in the comments and I will clarify. Okay, let's just put the rest here. And I'm going to do a quick little zhuzh because I think what I'll do is do a ribbon right here and then I'll flip over here just to get a little more coverage. Let's do a ribbon for right here. There, give that area a little bit different look. And then flip. Okay. Not as much paint in there, I guess, as I thought. Let's um, scrape all this goodness onto the canvas. where it helps to be coordinated, which I am not. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it, where I did that last flip cup. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. That middle is really pretty. I don't want to lose that. I think I'll get up here and then I might leave this. We can always add something there. Okay, that's gonna be good. I can help it along as we go. In fact, I can do that right now. Let's just do a quick swipe right there just to get the color there. Okay, I think I'm going to use a straw over here. Okay. So, you get a straw. I'll try not to get paint on the part where I'm going to... Okay. Let's start in this area. I do not have enough white under here to get what I wanted to get from what I did the other year last night. This is definitely a softer feel because of the amount of white I had under the dark areas, but um, I did not use enough white. I just did a tiny little test pour. I'm trying to get kind of that same feel the larger pour with two cups probably wasn't. Okay, let's see. Well, did all my white stay in the cups? Because where is it? I have a lot of white in here. I'm going to do a little bit more and then I'm going to kind of tilt around. Okay. Since it's all covered, I don't need to cover it, but I'm going to get some movement in here. To kind of get some interest going. I think I'm going to try, maybe not, let's see, let's just keep going with this because I'm kind of liking what it's doing here. There we go. Okay. Probably 
probably should break down and just do the whole push pin thing with my canvases. Let's see, I'm going to stand up, look at it from a little further away. I always have to pause to do that. Let's see where I am. I don't know how much more I want to do to it because I don't want it to get too crazy chaotic. And I like that there's some areas where there isn't a lot going on. Like, oh, that's so pretty right in there. And right here, it just doesn't quite feel done. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to stare at it. For, <laughs> I'm going to stare at it for a few minutes and try to decide what exactly I want to do. Okay, so I'm looking at it and I really like the details. I love this area right here and right in here where there's some straight lines. So I'm just going to kind of... I don't know, obviously I didn't make up my mind when I was contemplating getting paint under my gloves, which is not good. Okay, so I think I'm going to not use that straw since I just grabbed it in the wrong place. Okay, um, use my straw right in here. And then I'm going to kind of just barely tilt because I love this right in here. I just don't want it to be so chaotic that you look at it and you're like, wow, that's just a mess. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. Oh good, there's some white. I'd like a little more white to come through, but... You kind of get what you get. I always told my daughter, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay, so I'm going to tilt mostly this way. Okay. And like I said, this is a bit thicker, so it certainly doesn't move quite as fast as much as it does when you have a thinner fluid acrylic. So I'm just being a bit more patient. I think I'm going to pour a little bit more that way and then stop again. Let me go this way just a little bit, let that sort of take over. I would like that black or that Payne's Gray right here to kind of be a little more swirly, but more like this. But it's not happening, so it's okay. Nope, I don't want to go down. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Actually, I'm liking that a lot better. Just a little bit. I do not have much paint on this side of the canvas, apparently, because it didn't go over. There we go. And I think... Getting to a point where I'm happy. Okay, let's put it down. Oop. Silly cup. Okay. if I will remember to write push pins down. Okay, so I want to mess with it or just kind of leave it. I really like this. I'm thinking about tipping this way. This is just getting, I'm not losing anything when I tilt. It's just actually getting prettier. So let's just keep going see what happens. I am going to pull my sleeve up. Look at that paint under my glove. Okay. Any neat, neat pores out there, cringing. 
at my mess. I'm sure you're out there. This is exciting. <laughs> kind of like watching paint dry. Okay. But I'm going to get some of the swirly bits down here. And then I am going to call it a day. I'm losing a lot of paint, but that's okay. Okay, I think that is good. That is a lot more uh, busy than what I usually like and usually do. I'm really liking this one. I like the swirls. Okay, so let's stand up. The bird's eye view test. And then I think we'll do a close up. Yeah, I'm digging that. Okay, so here we go with a close up, and hopefully my phone will stay. There we go. That is really pretty right in there. I don't know how well the depth of all that. There we go. It's picking up. There's a little bit of Payne's Gray under that that's just coming through and making it look almost like a shadow. And there's that ribbon, a little bit of that ribbon pour that stayed. It's really, really pretty. And there's no flow at all in any of this. There's a screaming kind of scary face right there. Um, and the colors aren't really showing true on my phone. But um, they will definitely dry the color that they are, maybe a little bit darker, because acrylics do dry darker. Um, but because there's no Floetrol in here making things a white, milky shade of what they really are, um, they will dry very similar. So, yeah, this is very green right here. It's showing up kind of gray on my phone. Let me turn the flash off and see if that'll help. Okay, so it's still not showing true to color at all. So I'm going to take some pictures um, tonight. So be sure to check out, and then I'll take some when they're dry. So be sure to check out uh, my Facebook group or my Instagram um, if you want to see this a little bit more true to color. I'm a bit disappointed, but there you have it. So I will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.